Hello guys, I'm Adriana and this afternoon, with the help of Leonardo, we are going to see this device, Pocophone F2 Pro, that doesn't charge. After a visual inspection, the conclusion is that it has problem with the FPC connector of the motherboard. Here in Spain, with one of our providers, we have ordered two FPC connectors and in this way we are going to keep one, <laughs> just in case. The FPC connector is a 60 pin connector, so there are 30 pins on each side. In the first step, we apply a little flux and with the air station at 350 Celsius degrees and 40% air, we remove the connector. On the description of this video, I'm going to leave you some links from where to buy it. The truth is they are quite cheap. If you want to recycle the FPC connectors from another motherboard, up here I'm going to leave you a video about how to do it. We just have to lower the temperature a little bit. Now we clean the old solder lid using a desoldering wick and with the soldering iron at 350 Celsius degrees. If you like the video, please give it a big like, share it, leave a comment, so in this way we'll understand that we have to share more similar content. We use some cotton and contact cleaner to clean the flux. The cotton I use I'm buying in big packs and it's much better than the cotton sticks because it leaves less residue. Apply a good flux, I personally recommend Amtech or Cheap Quick. Now we are going to enlarge the image on the microscope so we can observe the whole process. To thin the pads I'm using a soldering iron at 350 Celsius degrees and solder wire from Kester brand. I have said in some videos before, if your volume of work allows you, you always should invest in the good flux and the good solder lid. With a large lore, you can spend years and years doing good microsoldering. If you have a small budget, here above I leave you a comparison with all the solder leads that we have in our workshop. There are even good solder leads for less than $5. After thinning the pads, we place the FPC connector to the motherboard. With a heat station, we apply 300 Celsius degrees and 40% air. Remember that each air station is different. If you don't not trust your station, you should increase the temperature and the air flow little by little until the solder lid melts.
we turn the motherboard on the other side so the solder lid melts on this side as well. Now we adjust the microscope closer so we can observe the pins of the connector. Here I'm going to leave you a trick. If you are not sure about the result of the micro soldering and you want to check it, with the help of the needle just pass it through all the pins. If the pin moves you have to resolder it. You need to use a very thin needle or the scalpel tip. For the end, I left the corners. As the heat it dissipates well, I like to solder them at the end. We use a little solder lid paste and a soldering iron at 350 Celsius degrees. So this is the final result, now let's check it. We have a charge of 1.5 Amperios, which is a very good charge to restart this battery. So guys, this was today's video. I hope you enjoy it and see you next time. Bye bye.